Hey guys, this week I'm making a shaker inspired coat rack. What's a little bit different about this coat rack is that I put drawers in it to hold keys or change other small items. The wood I've used is curly redwood sent to me by Rick Beal. And a few months ago, Tim Sluter sent me a bunch of these shaker pegs, which is really what I based this whole project around. Making drawers can kind of be a pain, but I've come up with a really easy system to make all four of these drawers at once. In fact, this project is a little different in that I'm going to start with the drawers. I've cut down a length of 5 8 inch thick curly redwood. This will be for the fronts of the drawers. For the side pieces and the back, the secondary surfaces, I've cut those out of half inch pine. I've cut out these eighth inch deep rabbits to hold this piece of eighth inch plywood to make up the bottom of the drawers. Here's a mistake I seem to always make when I cut rabbits for the bottoms of drawers is that I cut each of the side pieces all the way through to the end and you can see that you know I've got this notch here so when the, the bottom panel goes in <laughs> you'll be able to see that. I should have stopped the router right about at this point, but I didn't and you know, I'm just going to kind of let it slide. I don't think that it's really going to be that visible. Now with that drawer all glued up, I've cut three one inch wide blocks that I'll space evenly and glue them in. I wanted to make sure that I had glue touching the base and the back and the front. I'm just going to cut straight down the middle of each of these blocks. I don't have enough of the curly redwood to fit for the back of the coat rack. It's not going to show, so I'm just going to use some MDF. I've cut some thin drawer dividers that will fit in like this. The only thing I've done with those is I made them a little bit wider this way. And I've cut a piece of wood for here and for the top. Imagine that the back is glued on, and so if I tip this over, <laughs> Well, that's how the drawer system will work. So I guess the best way to do this is I'm going to use these dividers as little spacers while I glue this up and, you know, just double check that drawers fit in all right. And now I'll just put this on a block of wood and clamp it down this way. And here's the piece all glued up with the dividers glued in too. So what I want to do now is get started on this little trim piece. This will be the next layer for the top. I've installed a Roman OG bit into my router and this is an occasion where I'm not going to use that bearing on the router so I've set up my fence the reason why, and also some feather boards here. I'm going to run this board through on its edge to create kind of a larger profile. So that gives me this profile which I will use as molding piece on the top. What I'm doing is just kind of cutting these out and I'm going to put them in together like a frame sort of across the top. Now obviously the best way to have done this would have been to have one piece of wood here and then I just could have routed out all of those edges. But I didn't have enough of this curly redwood so I came up with this little plan. It'll work out okay. So here's that uh, molding piece on the top and I put some screws in it while I was waiting for the glue to dry just to hold it down and now I have cut a piece of wood for the top and I took two pieces of that wood and edge jointed it together. So now I just need to glue that up. While I've got that top clamped up and drying, I cut out some pieces of, this is eight inch uh, curly redwood that I was going to use for another project. And 
I'm gonna cover up that MDF with it. And I've also cut out this thin strip that will go on the bottom of that MDF. And again, all of this could be avoided if you just made this back piece, you know, the same type of wood that you're using for the entire project. the completed coat rack. I hope you enjoyed this project. This is a great project to put right by your entryway and you won't lose those keys. Thanks for watching this video. Visit my website woodworkingformeremortals.com for lots more woodworking videos. I will talk to you later.